The historic F5 tornado may have destroyed much of Gerald, but it did not destroy the will of the people to move forward. They will never forget the 27 who died, but they honor their memories by living. Life goes on, and throughout the years, the city of Gerald and its residents have weathered the storm. Back in 1997, it was a town of just a few hundred people. Many people in Gerald had family in the area tracing back to the 1800s, a close-knit community, a place where everybody knew everybody. It's huge. The devastating twister taking the town by surprise. I was at my in-laws in their house. It took everything but their bathroom. That's where we were. It flattened homes, twisted steel, spread debris for miles, taking life and memories. When well, those are made it, I don't know how we made it because there's a lot of people right around us that didn't, but we made it. And I don't know why, except that there's a reason and we'll know that someday because God had a plan for us somewhere. Today, the community is growing. Developments are going up all over town. More schools are being built as Gerald ISD prepares to go from under 3,000 students this year to more than 10,000 in the next 10 years. Still a small central Texas town, but the dynamics are changing. The latest census data shows more than 2,300 people call it home. At points in time in the quiet of the night, I kind of sit there and go, how the hell are we going to keep up with this thing? Larry Bush was elected to the city council in 2007 before he became mayor in 2014. One of his key priorities is keeping Gerald booming. He's expecting more people to move in with companies like Tesla opening and Samsung expanding in Central Texas. The biggest challenge we've had as a small city is identifying and bringing in the talents and skills that we need to help us grow in the future. But the growth can only happen so fast. And Gerald often competes with bigger cities in the southwest part of Williamson County for infrastructure needs. Because it's bigger than that now. Mayor Bush says the city needs more water, more sewer and transportation. In the next 15 years, Gerald will need more than 15 million gallons extra per day. He compares it to Round Rock back in the late 70s. But it's not lost on Mayor Bush where the town came from. The family members who will have missed out on birthdays with their loved ones lost in the tornado. There'll always be some number of people that remember the tornado, remember Gerald for the tornado. The rest of us are going to look at where we, what we are today and what we're going to become and the fact that this is one of the best places in Texas to live.